Are you sick and tired of not being able to control yourself? Today I'm going to show you the three things you need to do to create an indomitable willpower without effort. Back when I was in college, I was addicted to pornography and beer. I desired so badly to quit watching porn and drinking, but I couldn't do anything. Above all, I wanted to stop feeling disappointed of myself. Unfortunately, for me, I hit rock bottom when my addiction to porn was so bad that it ruined my relationship with my then girlfriend. After being tired of feeling worthless and depressed for a couple of months, I realized that I was manufacturing these experiences in my own head with my thoughts. That's when I thought, aha, if I learn how to control my thoughts, I can decide what actions I'm going to take and how I am going to think. I went online and discovered that my willpower could help me control my thoughts and my actions. The problem was that most sources offered nothing helpful to increase my willpower. So after weeks of looking for ways to increase my willpower, I finally discovered how to do it. Better yet, I found that I can strengthen my willpower just as I can strengthen my biceps at the gym. This helped me quit the addictions that I mentioned before, and it has also helped me to have more self-control. And the best news is that increasing your willpower is simple and easy. Before sharing with you how you can increase your willpower, I want to say that I learned these three methods in a course called Unwavering Focus from a Hindu monk called Dandapani. I totally recommend you watch his videos because he's an amazing teacher and an amazing person. Let's start by remembering that willpower can be defined as control exerted to do something or restrain impulses. The first thing you can do to increase your willpower is to always finish what you start. The most common example of this method is making your bed in the morning. Doing this will represent the ending of your sleep. Another way of finishing what you start is to always wash your dishes after you finish eating so it becomes the ending of the activity you call eating. The thing is that finishing your food and waking up is extremely easy, but finishing what you started by making your bed and washing the dishes is a little bit difficult. By doing those things that require a little bit more effort, you will train your willpower in a very subtle way to do things that you don't like to, but need to. Another thing that you can do is set small goals for yourself and finish them no matter what. For example, I'm currently reading a book and I'm committed to finish at least each chapter that I start. Maybe the book is not worth finishing, and that's fine, but at least I'm committed to finishing the chapter I started so that I have a better idea of the book's theme and then I can decide if I invest more of my time in it. Another way to train yourself for achieving what you want is through affirmations because they reprogram your subconscious mind. If you're interested, you can grab one of my free personal sets of affirmations with the link in the description below. The second thing you can do to increase your willpower is to do a little bit more than you think you can. What I like to do when I'm exercising is to do a couple more reps than I think I can. The goal of this technique is to force you to do something extra than what you think you can. This technique is very powerful because we usually set these enormous goals like going to the gym 5 times per week, even though we are obese and have never exercised before. In this case, our willpower is not trained enough for that task and if it's weak, it will eventually fail us. But by reframing the same goal and doing a little bit more than we think we can, gradually we will eventually go 5 times per week to the gym. Doing a little bit more means going one time per week, then maybe two or even three times per week. This will go on and on and eventually, doing a little bit more will mean going from four times per week to five times per week which was our initial goal. In the previous example of finishing sleeping by making your bed, you can do a little bit more by tidying your room a little bit. In my case, when I finish washing the dishes, I will sometimes take the garbage out. That said, if you're getting value from this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. The third thing you can do to increase your willpower is to do something a little bit better than you think you can. No matter what we are doing in life, we can always do it a little bit better. We can always make our bed a little bit better. We can always wash our dishes a little bit better. Doing things in a better way usually takes paying attention to the details and investing a little bit of more effort to do it. 
The beautiful thing about this way of increasing your willpower is that you can apply it in everyday activities like brushing your teeth, cleaning your bedroom, and of course, making your bed and washing the dishes. This method increases your willpower by indirectly forcing you to take control of your actions so you can do things in a better way. These three ways are so powerful because you are exercising your willpower in subtle ways that seem completely natural like finishing things, doing a little bit more, and doing things a little bit better than you think you can. These three ways of exercising your willpower can be applied to almost everything and since your willpower is a muscle, the more you exercise it, the stronger it will get. If you want to learn more about how to control your thoughts in order to take control of your actions, you can check out these videos.